Hey, what's going on, all you cigar lovers out there in YouTube land? This is Jeff, back again after a couple of years of being absent for a little while. Got a little busy with life and everything. Decided we'd come back tonight and do a review on a cigar, and it's something I picked up at my local B&M earlier. Never had one, but I know they're a reputable brand, and for the price mark, I thought, mm, might as well try it. It's the Avo Classic Number 2. This is the Toro Tubo. This was the only size that they had. But I thought I would give it a shot, and my first time back in a couple years doing reviews, I figure, what the heck, let's give it a shot. So um, I've saved you guys the boredom of watching me punch this thing, so I went ahead and punched it. Initially on the on the pre-light, all I'm really getting is like, hey, you know, if you ever grew up in the country and you chewed on a piece of hay or straw and kind of sucked that air through that, that's kind of the same flavors that you get. So I, I can tell that it's probably going to be a pretty mild cigar. It may surprise me. I don't know, but we'll see. So I'll go ahead and toast this thing up and give you the first impressions on it. And then uh, we'll just kind of go from there. I'll be doing a review in a couple more days because at the same B&M, I picked up a Drew Estate Laker Provided T52. And I've had the number nine. I love the number nine. It's hard to get a hold of. I've heard good things about the T52, but I've never had one. And just happened to walk in there and he had one, so I thought I'd take a shot on that. So I'll be doing that in a couple of days. But right now we're going to see where this one takes us. Right off the bat, flawless draw. Just the right amount of resistance, just the right amount of... Just airflow. It's perfect. Initially, I'm getting a lot of dark, rich, but mild, like I thought, like cocoa flavors. As we all know, the first three or four puffs of a cigar can make you think that you're absolutely going to love it and it may be the best part of it. Or it may be the same way in the first three or four puffs of a cigar you think I'm absolutely going to love it and then it's beyond what you thought it would be. So we're hoping out for the latter. If we get the former, it doesn't really matter. It's just a few dollars lost. That's why we we're in this hobby. You discover what we like. So just thought I'd give it a shot. So far it's not too bad. It's pretty smooth. Not a heavy smoke output. Again, it's just kind of the same flavors. A little earthy, dark, kind of, I don't know, a um, unsweetened chocolate or cocoa kind of thing going on. Okay, I'm going to get about 15 minutes into this thing, and I'll get back to you and let you know what we've got. Bye. 